morning children. Hope you are all doing good. This is third standard English class. We are in block 15 compound sentences. And our today's topic is sentence variety. So today we are going to write some simple and compound sentences. And we have learned that varieties of sentences children. So what are these some sentences? We have learned that some sentences they have compound subjects. Some sentences they have predicates. And some sentences both they have compound subjects and predicates. And also we have learned compound sentences. So today what we are going to do is with the help of the details which we have done in S3. With the help of those details we are going to write a small paragraph by using conjunctions. In previous class we have learned the process for making cotton. Now I will put the names of, I will put the names together, the names of people who all work for making cotton. Farmers, mill workers, dyers and tailors work to make a cotton shirt. Again I am reading children. Farmers, mill workers, dyers and tailors work to make a cotton shirt. If you observe this sentence, it is a sentence with compound subjects and it is also a topic sentence. So first we are going to start our paragraph by using this topic sentence. So now with the help of these details, we are going to write a paragraph about this. Okay children, see? Here, as I told you, how can we make our paragraph better children? If we include the introduction to paragraph which talks about people, places and tools. See this is the introduction. As I told you this is the topic sentence. Farmers, mill workers, dyers, bleachers and tailors work very hard to make cotton clothes from cotton plants. See here we have included some more points. Okay. Now see the first step. See growing cotton, farmers, farms, tractors or pipes. These are the details. So how can we make this as a sentence children? We can write like this. Farmers work hard on farms to grow cotton. They use tractors and pipes on the farm. Okay children, now I will write and show you. So now this is a sentence for the first detail. Farmers work very hard on farm to grow cotton. Full stop. They use tractors and pipes. Now this is the second one. Cleaning the cotton. Say after growing cotton what they will do? They will clean the cotton. So in that who are the people? Mill workers. And where is the place? factories or mill and where they will do cotton gin. Now these details we are going to write as a sentence. What will be the sentence children? The factory workers work in the factory and clean the cotton in the cotton gins. Okay. See the factory workers work in the factory comma and clean the cotton in the cotton gins. Now what is the third one? Making the yarn. Mill workers, factories or mill, spinning machines. So who are the people? Mill workers. In which place? Factories or mills. And which tool? Means what type of tool they are using? Spinning machines. Now we are going to write these details as a sentence. For that what is the sentence? The factory workers change the cotton into yarn, comma, and they use spinning machines for this. Okay, let's come to the fourth one. After they will make the yarn, what they will do? They will make the cloth. Mill workers, factories or mill, and loom. So here, we can write the mill workers change the yarn into cloth on looms. Or we can write in this way also children. 
the yarn is changed into into cloth in machines called looms the yarn is changed into a cloth in machines called looms bleaching the cloth who are the people dyers or bleachers where they will do which place factories or mill and what tool they will use machines so for this what will be the sentence the dyers and bleachers dye the cotton cloth in factories and they use machines for this the dyers and bleachers dye the cotton cloth in factories and they use machines for this again i'm reading the dyers and bleachers dye the cotton cloth in factories comma and they use machines for this so what is the last step children stitching clothes tailors tailors is shop so what are the tools they will use sewing machines needles and thread so what will be the sentence for this the tailors work in shops and stitches the clothes the tailors work in shop and stitches the clothes see the tailors work in their shops and stitches the clothes now you see so every step is important for making cotton clothes we should take care of our clothes so every step is important for making cotton clothes we should take care of our clothes see why i have included to make our paragraph better we have to add some more sentences in the end what we feel or think about the main idea so once again i'll read full paragraph children farmers comma mill workers dyers comma bleachers and tailors work very hard to make cotton clothes from cotton plants full stop farmers work very hard on farm to grow cotton they use tractors and pipes full stop the factory workers work in the factory comma and clean the cotton in the cotton gins full stop the factory workers change the cotton into yarn comma and they use spinning machines for this full stop the yarn is changed into a cloth in machines called looms full stop the dyers and bleachers dye the cotton cloth in factories comma and they use machines for this the tailors work in their shops and stitches the clothes now next line so every step is important for making cotton clothes we should take care of our clothes so is it clear children so with the help of this paper you can complete s4 in workbook as you open the book right today's date 21-12-2020 mm -hmm. how else can we make our paragraph better see we can give a title to the paragraph when we are going to write a paragraph we can give the title so it makes our paragraph better we can include an introduction to paragraph which talks about people places and tools in short here before i have shown you that farmers mill workers dyers tailors and sorry and tailors work to make cotton shirt here what did i do i included the introduction to paragraph it talks about the people who all work for the for making cotton and in the last we can include a few sentences in the end about what we feel or think about the main idea okay children like this we can make our paragraph better i hope you all understood so complete the workbook and write the paragraph as i have shown on the paper in the 
Geliyor. Sen geç elin.